where the argument lies is what does just mean with regards to taxation? What does fair mean with regards to taxation? So once you start learning what the taxes are actually doing, what the impacts they're having, what are the incentives that are being put in place with the tax code? Because that's what the tax code is being used for oftentimes. When you think about the types of credits that have been put in place, for example, what kind of behavior is the government uh, trying to incentivize with the taxes that are being are being put in place? If people are saying that they want a just tax system or a fair tax system, then we need to get critical and say, what do you mean by just and fair? If the response uh, of just and fair is something like, well, we need to take all the money into the federal government and then distribute it evenly or distribute it to the people that have the least uh, to the most kind of thing. Well, that sounds like a communist type of system, uh, right? Or, or if you're saying that just or fair means that the people that are actually, you know, earning the money uh, within within the system, they're making things, then those are the people that possibly should have should be able to keep more of their money or something like that. Well, those type of people are arguing more for a capitalist uh, type of system. So you can see the answer to these questions with regards to taxation are going to tell you <laughs> what a lot of the questions about these vague terms that we kind of throw we throw around in terms of how big should the government be? Should we have more capitalist systems? What's a, what should how much of a safety net should we have within within our system? All of that is tied into, of course, uh, the taxation because the government doesn't actually produce things in general, right? The go the government is could be a force of of redistribution is the is the general idea. So the question is. What should the government be in charge of? And again, we can really drill down on that by concentrating on some of the tax laws that go through. All right, well, how do we learn tax law? So you're gonna, you're gonna wanna question the law, you're gonna wanna reason with it, you're gonna wanna debate it. In other words, you don't really wanna learn tax law or anything by just trying to rogue memorize it. You don't just, you're not gonna be able to just repeat the tax law enough times so that it's stuck in your head by repetition. It's too big of something uh, to be able to do that. And even if you were able to do that, you don't really develop any conceptual understanding of the tax law because oftentimes there's, there's gray area, just like uh, with any type of law. And when you're learning anything, the general uh, idea of learning it is gonna be tell a story about it. And even when you're talking about learning a series of numbers, then oftentimes if you can break those numbers into a pictorial format, you can make a picture, you can, you can link the number to an image and then make a story about those images, that's gonna help you to basically remember just even a series of numbers. So just from a practical standpoint, when you're learning the tax law for whatever you want to do, you wanna make a story about it. Fortunately, the tax law already has a story because everything that the tax law has been put together, someone put that together because they thought it was a good idea, right? They've been arguing. It's a, it's a process that came out of, a, you know, a, 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 the creation of the law. Arguments have happened and this thing uh, came out of that. So the question is, you can ask questions like, well, what were they thinking when they put this law in place? Do I agree uh, with the law that was put in place? Now that this law is put in place, what are the incentives that that's going to have? Is that going to incentivize people to grow the economy? Is it going to incentivize people to reduce the economy? Is it okay that the economy is being possibly depressed in some way or reducing GDP if we can get a more even distribution through redistributional policies? And th these kind of questions are things that you will see if you if you start looking at the, at the tax law. And it's just like any kind of text that you engage with, if it was like a philosophical text or something like that, you're gonna be reading it and say, why, why does this person think that? You're gonna like debate and, and you don't just like, just read it and just kind of take it in. Well, that's what that person thinks. I'm not gonna question it. Or uh, if, you're, if you're looking at books like the Homer or Shakespeare or something, you're gonna be asking questions like, well, why did Achilles do that? He's acting like a baby. I don't know what he's doing over here. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna question the, the motives of the characters. Well, the characters in tax law are the people that put in the law. And so we can, we can basically ask questions in terms of why those laws have been put in place. And then, 
and then that will help us at least with the memorization of it. It will also help us to engage it when we're actually trying to do things uh, with the law. And if we have clients or are working with people that are interested in, in the law, you have something to actually talk about. You can give some opinion as to not just what the law says, but possibly what the incentives or motives were behind it. Now that could get you in trouble because people have different different opinions about what is fair. If you just say, we want a fair tax code, that's a pretty safe thing to say and off, almost evasive thing to say, right? What the, the, it's, it's, if you actually get into the details in terms of what you think is fair and those kind of questions, then you're gonna annoy people sometimes, but those are more honest uh, debates. And so, so, and there'll be more, more engaging debates with the clients. And if you engage in more engaging debates, you might have more clients that actually, hopefully you, you genuinely agree with, which would be a, a better, a better <laughs> system usually, uh, if, if that's possible. But in any case, that's the idea.